Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. Wow, so it's Easter, Easter 2021. And you know what? I actually only, I took a moment today to think that how this year has progressed. And of course, I think we all thought that 2021 would have been sort of so much more further advanced away from the coronavirus uh, pandemic and this horrible episode we all find ourselves in here in the UK and across the whole world. Um, we're slowly coming out of a lockdown here in the UK. So sadly, this is the second Easter we find ourselves in a lockdown. But do you know what? I am really, really trying, and my family are really trying, not for it to cast a shadow over Easter, which we have done incredibly well to come out of this uh, pandemic at the moment, with all of my family being well, um, everybody safe and content, and thankfully we haven't gone through what a lot of other families here in the UK, and of course across the world, have gone through. So of course, Easter is a very poignant time for many, many people across the world, but more so, I think it makes us value more. It makes us value what life really stands for, because I try to tell myself that I'm going through some health problems at the moment, but you know what? There will be a day where that will be over, and there will be a day where my career will be perfect, where I want it to be, because that's a huge worry of mine. My dream is to have a house of my own, to have a family, to be married, to have a wonderful wife, and have a huge family, and everything happy. One day, I hope to God that that will happen, but for so many throughout this pandemic, sadly those things won't happen. So when I have a bad day, or when I have a sad time, and I really find myself quite low and quite blue, what I try to do is I try to think of those people who have had that all taken away from them throughout this pandemic. So then that really does sort of get the fire back in my stomach and it really does just really set me on my way to think that actually life is good and you have to grab it with both hands and you have to enjoy it every single day. Because my saying, what I always tell myself when I'm feeling down is no one is promised a tomorrow and more so throughout this pandemic. Nobody knows what's around the corner. And like I actually said to my brother today, who's in my social bubble, my social circle, um, he was worried about what lies ahead for him. And I said to him today, enjoy today and let tomorrow worry about itself. Now, I know that's not always easy, but you know what? Let's all just enjoy Easter and worry about next week when it comes. Because very often, I think we all get so raveled up and so tied up in, in these things that we actually don't enjoy the right now and we miss out on the small details. Today, again, in my social circle, my social bubble, so it's allowed under coronavirus uh, restrictions here in the UK, um, I spent some time with my niece. I spent a lovely afternoon with my niece um, and she's in our social bubble and um, with my household and um, in, in sort of our group, which we which we've kept close, close within. And I made Easter cakes with my niece and we laughed, we joked, we had fun. And I am so blessed that they are in my social circle now. Um, because, of course, without Easter would be quite different. And I really my heart goes out to people who are alone and quite find their quite their self quite isolated throughout this time. Um, but you know what, just the small things of spending some time with my niece today, making Easter cakes, having a laugh, having a joke with her, not having to worry about things, and just enjoying the day, enjoying the moment, seeing the smile on family members' faces is just everything, and it really is priceless. Um, so that's really, really amazing. And of course, Easter is a huge time. You could even say that it rivals Christmas, because of course, we all know that uh, the, the death of Jesus and of course, how he rose again um, is, a, is the message of Easter. So to me, it's new life. It's new beginnings. Of course, it's springtime where the regeneration of plants and flowers really stands out in our face that summer is on its way. Happier times is on its way. And all of this throughout the coronavirus pandemic will be behind us. But of course, in the background there, what actually does stand out to me in Easter when I take the time to think about it is, of course, the death of Jesus means so much as well. And I think nowadays what that can mean, if you're religious or not, that can mean that very often for us to have those good times and for those, even for us to be healthy and well, somebody else gives something up for us, whether that be the NHS whether that be your amazing mum, your amazing grandmum, or grandmother rather, or nan, or father, or grandparent, or a friend, somebody who makes something happen for you, or somebody who looks after you when you're unwell, or 
somebody who's helped you in a situation or unfortunately if you've become unwell during this pandemic those amazing people would have nursed you back to health and of course that relates to the message not of course directly but there is a link when you think that jesus of course passed away and and was crucified on the cross but he gave us so much so if you're religious that's what i take from it um, I do believe in God. I'll be absolutely clear. I, I do. Um, I feel very proud about that fact. And that has got me through some really dark times. Um, but if you don't, then of course, respecting it and you can respect that and enjoy a really nice time and a nice holiday uh, as well. As I always say, it's a holiday season, the Easter season, um, just like the Christmas season is so special. The Easter one is just as special as well. But with that brings me on to my next message that I would like to thank all of my subscribers. Thank you very, very much for subscribing to me. And thank you very much for your time viewed or your comments and for all the amazing words, every single letter on my channel, because it has really helped me out through quite a dark time lately, through health problems, stresses and worries about what's ahead for me. Because I'll be honest, there's quite a big operation coming up for me this month. Actually, now we find ourselves in April. So I have my own mountain to climb is what a lot of other people throughout this pandemic are climbing mountains right now. So Easter, of course, means so many different things Like we've covered. It could be the religious aspect. So, of course, the death of Jesus and the rising of him, new life again. Of course, we've also covered that people giving up things or making something happen for someone or nursing someone back to health. You have that connection of, of course, what Jesus done as well. He gave us so much to have. Um, but if you don't look at it from a religious side, Easter, of course, is a lovely time to come together and to realise what we have in this life. And OK, we might not be able to come together as what we normally would through outside of not having a pandemic with coronavirus. But it just reminds us of that how special life is and how much we should take a moment to just really enjoy the right now and value what we do have. Because so many people out there don't have that. And so many people would give anything just to have the small things which we take for granted in life as well. So, of course, with that being said, we are upon us. It's Good Friday today. Um, it's coming up later in the afternoon, early sort of evening now. And of course, the Easter weekend is upon us. And I hope that we all enjoy a very nice, a very healthy, happy, bright Easter for the new part of the years ahead or months ahead rather, um, and hopefully we all enjoy an amazing, lovely spring and going into a really lovely, warm, happy and healthy summer, which we can hopefully all enjoy. So on that note, from starting my message, what I, my thoughts, feelings uh, around Easter and what Easter means to me, of course, Easter is a huge thing about new starts, new beginnings, and that can be new starts for people, whether that be starting a new family, whether that be starting a new friendship, starting a new relationship, or whether that be starting a new journey, whether that may mean taking a new direction in life that could even be sort of a new career. Let Easter be a little reminder to you that life is for living and life is for enjoying as well. So never get tied up in the fact that you have to get certain things done by a certain time, which I'm very guilty of. Let sometimes life sell you through and let you enjoy the ride. Again, I need to take note of that as well. And on that last note, I really, really hope you enjoy the Easter weekend and Easter is just as special as it is for me. Thanks very much for watching. And until next time, we will see you then. So I wish you Easter blessings, happiness, lots of chocolate and good company. For me, for example, very, very quickly, it will be a really lovely, lavish Easter meal on uh, a sit down meal on Easter Sunday that will be made by my amazing mum. My nan used to come to Easter Sunday dinner, um, always head of the table, and that used to be really, really special. Um, and those memories will always stay with me. She's in a different time of her life now. She has Alzheimer's, but she's soon to be 95 and she's doing incredibly well, which I thank the Lord above for. Um, we love to exchange gifts. Um, that goes on. I've, I've been sort of Easter bunny giving out gifts today, which has been absolutely lovely to my parents, my brothers, my nieces and nephews, which is lovely. Um, and on the back of that, I suppose that is all I really wanted to cover for Easter. That, and I suppose lastly, what I just want to say there really, even if you don't give gifts or you don't even have, I mean, let's be honest, in 2021, life is expensive. 
it, there's a cost on everything, unfortunately, nowadays, isn't there? But doing something just that special for somebody else doesn't even have to include money. It doesn't have to cost a thing. Doing something just spontaneous, just literally out of the ordinary, makes someone's day special. And there's so many ways you can do that. And of course, lastly, keep talking and keep communicating with family, loved ones, friends, everyone. And smile. Keep smiling. Because at the end of the day, this nasty sort of era of coronavirus, we will get through it. But let's hopefully remember ourselves of how we handled the situation with respect, with love, happiness. And hopefully one day we'll be able to look back on this and we'll be able to smile with how we acted and how we got through it all together. Okay, so last time I was saying thank you very much indeed for watching and happy, happy Easter. Okay, thanks very much. Until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.